Open After Effects. Go to Window. Extensions. Easy Edit Viewer. Go to Kinetic Social Pack. Find Installer File. Drag and drop the installer. Hit Easy Edit Viewer. Enter your email. And purchase code. You can use all presets from the package. The project files are divided into categories for your convenience. Categories include ready-made montages, scenes, stories, elements. Scenes is a library of horizontal shots. You can alter and combine these shots to your preference. Elements is a library of single elements, such as lower thirds, titles, in which placeholders, transitions, and more. You can add various elements to already existing scenes or create your own shots with them. Stories is a library of vertical shots designed to create stories for social media. Montages is a library of pre-made montages. Combinations of shots designed to create various intros, slideshows, openers, etc. Montages include both vertical and horizontal shots for your convenience. Create new composition. Social Pack. Choose the shot you like. And click Import. Done with it. Let's try adding content. Go inside the comp. Here, you can see two placeholders. Go inside the placeholder and add photo or video. Select your content and drag and drop it into the comp. Customize it if you like. Do the same with other placeholders. Finished with this. One of the most useful features of the project is auto resize. Open comp settings. Change the resolution. Position will automatically adjust to the new size. Finished with this. In Essential Graphics panel, you can customize and configure the main parameters. You can change text.
position and scale. In some elements, you can adjust the duration of the in and out animation. Let's try to do this. Create new composition. Go to Kinetic Social Library Elements. Select the composition you need, click Import. Now, move the triggers of the in and out animation. The speed of animation has changed.
in a way that the top layer works as out for the one that's underneath it. This works only when collapse transformations checkbox is on. For some scenes which have 3D effects enabled, this works a bit differently. To make this work, go inside the 3D comp. Uncheck Shy switch if it's on. Scroll to the bottom of the comp and find the out layer. Copy this layer. And go back to the previous comp. Paste the out layer. And align it with a 3D comp. Make sure the out layer is beneath the 3D comp. And both of the layers are aligned to the timeline. Everything works now.